This video is presented by Trax WA, Training Centre and Subacute Care. After her earlier consultations, Val is again meeting prosthetist Brendan Cahill to assess how she's progressing with the use of a new prosthetic limb. Okay Val, how's your prosthesis travelling? Um, I think this is shrinking a lot now and this I'm starting to have a lot of movement inside here. Okay, that... how many socks are you wearing? Um, I'm actually just wearing this the one. Okay. And let that and the nylon. Okay, so as we talked about, we might need to increase the sock. So what we might do is we might add a sock. Now I watched you walk in, it looks quite loose, so we're gonna try and add a thick sock. So if you pop on the thin sock for me. Mm -hmm. So I always put the thin one on first. Um, it actually doesn't really matter, it's what which, whichever one feels comfortable. Most often the thin cotton socks are the nicest against the skin. Okay. Okay, really important that we have no wrinkles, especially when we've got multiple socks on. Putting this one on as well. Okay, looking good there, Val. Okay, so when we've got those socks on, we get the nylon pull through sock as we've talked about. We need that just up to your knee, it doesn't need to be pulled up too hard. And then you pull the liner up, and I'll provide some gentle tension. That's still got to come up there. As Correct. As your, that. Your, your kneecap okay. just needs to drop into that little hollow that's okay. allowed for your kneecap. And that would be about the centre, wouldn't it? That, that Correct. Little mark. There's a little mark there that's in the centre. Yeah. So as we talked about, this nylon sock is designed to pull all of the soft tissues and the socks down into the socket mm -hmm. so that it doesn't plug and get stuck going in. So oh, this okay. just helps us get it in, especially as it gets a little bit tighter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because it's really, really important that this liner is sitting where it's designed to be. All the lumps and bumps need to be in the right spot so that mm -hmm. we're putting weight where we'd like to on your leg. Okay. We're protecting the spots that we want to protect, but mm -hmm. also that your leg is in the correct spot here so that your prosthesis is the right length. Okay? So, so by putting this extra sock in, mm -hmm. that's virtually filling that out and this will still fit in there. The correct. Same so too. as your leg is shrinking, the mm -hmm. socks on the inside are filling that gap mm. and it's ensuring that the prosthesis still fits you nicely and is comfortable, safe and secure. Okay. All right, so once that line is on, I then turn that pull through sock mm. back over. Okay, just up to there, right. Correct, okay. and then we... And I still leave that up there now. Leave that up there for now. Yeah. And then just slide the prosthesis in, just sort of lean forward onto it. Now it's really important at this point mm -hmm. in a time valve is you need to keep a little bit of weight downwards on the prosthesis until we get the sleeve in place. Okay. We don't want your leg popping out. And then rolling the sleeve up onto your leg. And so I should have the same amount down. Yes, yeah, so sleeve. what we're looking for is we're looking for three or four inches of the sleeve onto your skin three or four inches onto the socket. But we've got a little bit more on your skin and a little bit less on the socket, but we're okay. That's, that's what we're aiming for. So what I'd like you to do, I'd like you to stand up for me now. All right, so that prosthesis should feel a little bit firmer and not quite so loose inside. A bit squishy around there. Yep, yeah, it might feel like there's a little bit more um, cushioning from the socks, but it should feel nice and firm as opposed to with the one, the one sock. Just take just a couple of steps up for me. And then turning around and heading back. Yeah, it does feel a bit different, a bit higher. It just should feel a bit, a bit more secure yeah. and hopefully a little bit more comfortable. Yes. So taking that off, Fantastic, so it's still looking a little bit loose inside there as it's coming off there. Mm -hmm. Okay, now what I can see on your stump valve, so you can see there's a little bit of reddened skin mm -hmm. underneath your kneecap where we're taking a little bit of pressure underneath there. Right. Mm -hmm. There's a little bit of, of a red mark there and some marks from the sock. Mm -hmm. We can see a little bit through here and through there and that's all looking where I want it. It's not on any of the bony spots, it's not on 
the front of your shin bone. Mm -hmm. And it's looking all quite nice and even with a little, little bit of sock marks here, a little bit of sock marks there. Mm -hmm. What you're watching out for when you take your prosthesis off is heavy sock marks where you can really see the indent of mm -hmm. the socks or reddened skin mm -hmm. over the spots that we, we've been talking about. So mm -hmm. down the front of your shin bone, mm -hmm. the bony lump out here, mm -hmm. either side of your knee or on your kneecap, that's what we need to look out for because if after five minutes that's a little bit red, after a few hours of wearing it, your skin can be in, in trouble. You'll often feel uh, a pressure spot as a bit of a sore spot, but sometimes you won't and that's why it's really important to monitor the skin and pick up any problems before they become big problems. Generally speaking, we work most commonly with the thin and the thick cotton socks. Okay. So we've got the thin sock and the thicker, fluffier sock. Mm -hmm. So what we do is we, we want to incrementally increase the thickness. So we, just then we were wearing one thick and one thin. Mm -hmm. So the increase, to increase that, we might go to one thick and mm -hmm. two thin, okay. or potentially two thick. You might need to add a sock during the day, mm -hmm. or on a particular day, you might feel like it's a bit tight and you need to reduce a sock. Mm -hmm. But more, more often than not, it's adding socks. What we might do is we might actually try two thick socks to see how that looks today. So, okay. Oh yeah, you can feel that's, that's quite a bit... Um... It is a bit thicker. So once again, we the nylon pull through sock. So if you pull up on that, I'm going to pull down on that and make some tension. And you can see straight away that it's really not that happy, happily going in. Oh, so if you were to try and wear the prosthesis like this, it will get uncomfortable and not be as safe and, and you know, not a good outcome. Yeah. So, like that, too many socks, so we need to reduce okay. back. So, we're putting on the liner again, the nylon pull-through sock, put it on just past your knee. You're pulling on this the liner. Come up as far Correct, as... and I just provide some gentle tension yeah. through the bottom of the nylon, and that allows you to slide that okay. prosthesis up. I can also hold the liner and just a gentle pull down and you can feel that your skin wriggles down to the bottom of, of the socket. Now at that point we can feel that your kneecaps drop down into the hollow. We've got no gap down the bottom and we're now, and we're now in position. It's a little bit hard to judge at the bottom where, where, the, where the socket has come up to. It's much easier to use your kneecap and the base of the liner. All right right in the centre with your kneecap, okay? Mm -hmm. So we then fold this back over as we had done before. Right. At this point, we need a little bit of downward pressure from your leg to stop your leg from coming out. We don't want you to pick, pick the mm -hmm. prosthesis up. We don't need you to stand on it but we just a little bit of downward pressure through the prosthesis while you pull the sleeve up. So probably the best way to do that, Val, is to bring it back over the top of the, the socket. Yeah. But we don't want to pull it right down like we did before. Okay. Just fold it up. Like so. And then you roll that sleeve up. And that sleeve's got to come up as far as what it can. We want three or four inches of the sleeve on your skin matched by three or four inches of the sleeve on the socket and that ensures a good grip and a good airtight seal. Trax WA would like to thank the staff and management at Sir Charles Gardner Hospital for their involvement in this project. This project received funding from the Australian Government.